What is up, people? So, I'm back on the blue couch. It's been a while since I've been on the blue couch, and the scenery has changed. I now have a lamp, and I have a little table over here. But, um, none of that is what we're talking about today. Today, we are talking about what is in my stick bag. This is my stick bag. And uh, yes, it is enormous. And yes, it is a book bag and a stick bag. Now I posted a video uh, several years ago of what is in my stick bag and it, it's kind of changed a lot because uh, when I posted that first video, I was touring full time still. And because of that, you know, I had so much, when I was going to a gig, I would always have my drums with me. When I was on the road, I would always have my drums in my hardware case. So my stick bag really was just, sticks and a couple accessories. Since then, since I've kind of come off the road, I do a lot more session work from home and from studios in and around Nashville, and I play a lot more in town in Nashville. What I need and want in my stick bag has changed a great amount. So I want to kind of break down why I have such a big bag and what is in this stick bag that helps me get my job done in and around Nashville. So first off, this backpack is a backpack brought to you by Vic Firth. Yes, I am a Vic Firth artist and I was so pumped. My friend Steven Taylor, he actually had this backpack. We went to PASIC a couple years ago and he had this backpack and he was like, dude, it's amazing, you gotta get one. Vic Firth sent me one and it is amazing. So when I'm playing in town shows, it's really, really important for me to not only have sticks and all that stuff, but you know, a lot of times when I'm showing up to a gig in town, they have a, a backline kit, which means they have a drum set there, which is great, which means I only have to bring cymbals and a snare drum. But I also have to bring charts, typically. I also have to bring things like a shaker. I have to bring my in-ears a lot of times. So I need to bring sticks, but I need to bring a lot of other stuff. And when I was touring and on the road a bunch, I had all that stuff in my hardware case. So like my stick bag didn't need to have all that stuff, but in town, I need to have my cymbals, my snare, and then a stick bag. But then also, you know, my iPad and the clamp I hold the iPad to the bass drum for for when I'm reading charts and a shaker and my in-ears and whatever else. So it kind of gets crazy. So let's break this down. I'll do the backpack first because the backpack is easiest. One, the stick bag zips off, great. And then um, two, here's the backpack. The backpack is super simple. It's got a little pocket over here. It's got a pocket right there. And a lot of times when I'm playing early in the morning or I have a rehearsal midday or whatever, I'll put a nice thermos of coffee there. Very useful. Um, but that's really it. There are no other outside, you know, the stick bag zips off. And then this is really all you're left with. It's a backpack. It has these little strap things that can make it you know, be s smaller and scrunch it together. And then it's got two big pockets. And this huge pocket, I like that it folds all the way down, makes it really easy. Um, I have a shaker. And you'll notice it's actually two shakers in one because live, uh, you want your shaker to be as loud as you can without it being harsh and sound bad. And uh, it's a nice shaker. So you got a shaker. I have my iPad clamp. I have a whole video on this. I use this to clamp to the bass drum because I read charts from my iPad and uh, this being clamped on the bass drum is better than, you know, having a reading charts off a stand. And uh, yeah, I have a whole video on that. So I'll put that in the description. But that is my iPad clamp. And then I have an iPad. That's really it for this. Um, you have a laptop sleeve in the middle and then you know you can put stuff behind it or in front of it and there's this mesh netting if you need it um, but yeah there's not a whole lot in this big pocket I will often put my laptop in this laptop sleeve and um all right on to the next pouch this is my catch-all pouch kind of a lot going on in here but we'll, we'll break it down bit by bit in-ear monitors in-ear monitors are very important as a musician and I always have them with me. So here are my in-ear monitors. This weird looking thing is a water bottle and it folds up, it's like a thin little bladder. Ugh, it's a gross word, but um, I like it because it can always stay in here. It has this little hook 
so I can hook it to something in here and I always have a water bottle with me and it doesn't take up a bunch of space. Um, so that's kind of nice. Vic Firth 5B Chop Out. Um, they have these little practice tips, so I essentially have a practice pad anywhere I go with just these sticks. And they also make practice pad stick tip, st stick tip things, uh, which you can put on the top of any drumstick and make it a practice pad, essentially. Very cool, very worth checking out. Ibuprofen, uh, you never want to be stuck anywhere with a headache, so this helps. Really the last thing I have in that uh, big pocket, the second big pocket, is these two pouches and in here are a bunch of just charger cables and audio cables so the first pouch these charger cables pretty much just like iPhone and iPad charging accessories with a little thing of earplugs and um, some medical tape this medical tape is made by Nexcare and it's, uh, I forget the name of it. I'm sure it'll be somewhere on the screen, but this stuff is amazing. If you get blisters or if you get calluses, um, this stuff works way better than Band-Aids. It feels way better than Band-Aids because it's squishy and uh, it's just amazing. So it's always worthwhile to have a little bit of this around because if you cut yourself or you get blisters or you have calluses or whatever, um, this will go on your fingers and it's great. And I think Todd Zuckerman was the first person that ever mentioned this way back in one of his early DVDs. And I put it in these little pouches because one, chargers and other, uh, that's chargers and stuff that I can get lost very easily, they can fall to the bottom of the bag, then you're digging through there and it's dark and the club is is dark and you, and you don't know where it is and it's just a pain. So this little pouch really helps out. And in the other pouch, I have audio cables. And these are audio cables that I use f just here and there. This is a headphone extender cable, so it's a quarter inch male cable with an eighth inch female. So if I need to plug my headphones into something, I have a really long cable I can do that with. Um, I have a splitter cable, so it's an eighth inch male to two quarter inch male jacks. And that is for like if I was running tracks off a computer headphone jack or like a um, an iPad or an iPod or whatever. You could use this lock pick set, not to do anything illegal. I used to tour on a bus that we would always lock ourselves out of the back lounge and that lock picks it came in handy. All right, on to the actual stick bag. This stick bag is amazing. Uh, again, Vic Firth, obviously. It zips off from the backpack, so you can leave it attached or you can zip it off, cool. It has one big main pouch, and then it has two small pockets up front. So I'll go over the small pockets first. So the smallest pocket, this is where I keep all my drum keys and stuff. So I have Moon Gel. Moon Gel an old iPhone that I actually use as a metronome. So again, that uh, eighth inch to quarter inch cable that I will usually plug into this and run this as a click track. Uh, I like the app Tempo because you can program set lists and stuff. So this is what I use for metronome on a gig. And um, yeah, it works great. Couple Sharpies for writing set lists or editing charts, whatever. This is a Remo Quick Clutch. And uh, basically what this does is this gives you the ability to change your hi-hats instantly. Instead of having to swivel that thing at the end of it, which is a pain, you literally just push in and twist, and then the bottom is off and you can put your hi-hats on. Pretty cool. Drum key. This is a big drum key and it's magnetic. Very important to have a big drum key on a gig. I don't like looking for the drum key. Where'd it go? Did it fall? And it's magnetic, so it's not gonna fall off. If you, I always leave my, on a gig, I always leave my key on one of the lugs of the snare drum. And if in the middle of the set, I need to tune it or whatever, this drum key is not gonna fall off. A homemade sizzle chain. So I took some piece of plastic, gaff taped this chain to it. It's a sizzle chain. Made it for free, sounds great. So that's the first smallest pouch. Let's go to this next pocket, see what's going on in here. So, bass drum beater. Uh, this is a Danmar beater. I also really like the Vic Kick beaters. I have those in another stick bag. But this, this, I always bring my own bass drum beater that I'm comfortable with to a gig because I don't like bringing a kick pedal if I don't have to because it's big and it takes up a lot of space. But I want to be comfortable. If I'm playing a 45 minute set, I want to feel comfortable behind the drum set. And Part of playing the kick drum is a huge part of that. So if I have my own beater, I can pretty much put that beater, because it has the weight I like and the weight distribution I like, I can put that beater on pretty much any 
uh, any kick pedal and it's gonna work out, it's gonna sound great and I'm gonna feel great, which is important. I have a drum wallet, which is actually my main snare dampener when I'm playing shows. And drum wallet is made by a guy named Chad. These things are awesome. You tape them to your s snare and it just lays there. It's like a bean bag. What I really like about the drum wallet is it it's more than one moon gel, but it's not quite as much as two moon gels. But also when you hit the drum, the drum wallet pops up a little bit. And that's really important because it lets a lot more of the tone through the drum. When you stick a moon gel on, that moon gel is stuck on there. I like muffling on snare drums especially, that uh, have a little bit of like gated quality. When you hit it, it lets it, that's why a lot of times in my videos you'll see shirts dampening like the edges of snare drums, because when you hit the snare drum, that shirt is gonna pop up a little bit and let more of the drum tone come through before it lays back down on the head and muffles it. So, drum wallet, it's awesome. I have little booty shakers, which uh, I recently discovered. I have videos on them, they are amazing. And I carry these with me now, not so much for live shows, but when I'm working in other studios, if the rack tom is sitting on a snare stand, I absolutely will use these, because these are going to sound better than the this, this rack tom just sitting in the stand by itself. So I always have these with me. And then I have a little pouch, and in this pouch are a lot of hardware odds and ends. So there's a couple more cymbal sleeves in here, there's a lot of cymbal felts, there's some Loctite in case I need Loctite to like uh, help keep a lug in place that keeps coming out. And there's just a lot of random stuff in here, little odds and ends, some Allen wrenches, more cymbal sleeves. It's just kind of like a, if something's broken, chances are I have something that can help in this little pouch. And these are just things I've collected over the years. And now to the real main event, uh, the inside of the stick bag. So here we are, the main event. Uh, what actual sticks do I use? And you'll notice a stick bag for me, uh, the sticks are kind of an afterthought because uh, the sticks are the sticks and they always work. It's the, all the other stuff. Um, the, the little hardware things that I have, the dampeners, all of that stuff is just as important as the sticks because um, I know when I show up with a bunch of Vic Fur sticks, it's going to be great. I don't know how the house drum set is. I don't know how the room is. So I, I you know, I need charts. I need all this stuff. So uh, all of the other stuff I just showed was is really, really important for the total sound. Like the sticks are really just the starting point. So I'll break it down one by one. So over here, my main stick that I use on most of my gigs is the Barrel Tip 5B from Vic Firth. They are amazing. I absolutely love them. It's a 5B, but it has a barrel tip, so it has a lot more attack and uh, articulation to me as opposed to like the teardrop or acorn that you usually see in a lot of sticks. They're amazing. That's my stick I use on 90% of the stuff I do. For the other 10%, over here I have a couple of pairs of SD2 Boleros, which they are an awesome stick that I tell everyone about, and they are, yes, typically they're used for orchestral snare drumming. I found that they have a really cool, they're light. The tip on them is very round, which I really, really like. Since these are light, but very round, they give a very full sound, and I use these on a lot of, um, in the studio, I use these on a lot of uh, something where I want a lot of stick sound and I want a very round and not very aggressive sound, I'll use those. And then I use them on a lot of jazz gigs because they're lighter, but they still produce a really, really articulate and huge sound. Um, I love them. If you haven't ever checked them out and you have a nice ride cymbal, whew, switching the, to these sticks on a nice, nice ride cymbal, Oh man, there's nothing like it. And then um, I have a pair of mallets for cymbal swells and playing on toms. I have a pair of the Root 606 uh, rods. Uh, these are cool. I you know I don't love hot rods, but you need them. Um, and if you do, these are a good option. The Root 606s. And then I have a pair of the Live Wire brushes. These are great. There's really not a whole lot to them. They're metal brushes, and um, had them forever, and they last really long time. So. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of it. That's my stick bag. So that is what is in my stick bag. That is not only what's in my stick bag, what's in my whole like take to a gig backpack. Um, I wanna hear from you though. What is in your stick bag? What are the top three things you can't go to any gig without? in your bag. Put that below in the comments. Um, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, feel free to hit subscribe and ding that notification bell. I'm coming out with new videos every week, uh, so 
yeah, let's chat in the comments about the three things that you can't go to a gig without and that have to be in your stick bag. Um, subscribe, like the video, share it with someone if you liked it that much. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.